Mission Central, located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, is the mission warehouse of the Susquehanna Conference of the United Methodist Church. They provide humanitarian goods and relief kits to those in need. However, it was soon realized that localized hubs would provide more volunteer opportunities and a faster response to disaster. So therefore, we are at the Altoona Hub today to learn more about that. We're with Barb Glass and Joe Brown. Could you tell me a little bit more about what's the differences between the Mission Central main location and then the hubs? Well, hub stands for, the H is for the heart and hope of Mission Central. The U is its unique yet uniform. And the B stands for uh, the birthing of new opportunities, or as I like to think of it as branching out. So it's it's really um, the same as Mission Central, but on a much smaller scale. Okay. Um, And could you share some of the God moments that you've had here at the Hub? One of my favorite God moments has to do with some fabric that came out of a shoe factory down in Huntington. Um, the shoe factory was closing, and the Greenwood United Methodist Women had a quilting circle, so they bought all of the fabric that was available. And when their quilting circle decided to close, they brought all of that to the hub. We at the hub took it and gave it to people who do sewing for us. This includes this group of children from up in the Juniata Gap area, They sewed together the school kits, brought them back to the hub. We filled them with volunteers and sent them off to um, Mission Central. I've always marveled at how many hands God used to get school bags into the hands of children they'll never meet. The second one is a letter we just got today that has to do with our quilts that we make out of old blue jeans. And it's a thank you note from a woman in the Joplin, uh, Missouri area telling how unique that was and how it was such a blessing to her following all the problems they've had in their area. And these make me thank God that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus, touching people we never know. Yeah, this is the blanket that you were talking about. Um, Can you explain a little bit more about uh, why you decided to use denim fabric and how that all got started? Well, it was kind of an accident. Um, I had seen the magazine, and I began making them for my own grandsons, and I brought one of them in and showed them to the people, volunteers here at the Hub. They liked the idea and decided we could use your old blue jeans that you're going to toss out and make something of them. Volunteers in Mission saw them. They thought that would be a great opportunity for them to present something to families they're helping, and it's worked out well. We probably have made about 100. And how are you able, as a hub, to provide disaster response more quickly to the community? Well, one of the things that that comes to mind quickly is last year when we had all of the flooding. Um, we got a call from a, the hub that's located in the State College area, and they were getting uh, materials ready, working with the Salvation Army to take them to Bullsburg. So they came and took all of the buckets that we had, and some health kits they took with them, and they took them immediately to them. Um, The other thing we do that um, helps our local community are what we call non-standard kits, something that will not fit into an UMCOR kit. We make those up, and we have been able to distribute them through Blair County, Bedford County, and Huntington Counties, which we try to use everything we get. So um, the kits are one thing that volunteers do while they're here. What else do volunteers do when they come to the hub? We make uh, mats for the homeless. Uh, They are crocheted and they're uh, cut from plastic bags, plastic grocery bags. Mm -hmm. Uh, There are um, just any amount of items that uh, they can they can do, you know, when they're here. But but they I think most of them prefer to do the kits. If, if we have enough supplies, which we, we try to keep the supply level up so that, that the groups can make the kits. 
because that's that was our main goal here. People of all abilities are welcome here to volunteer at the Hub. Can you tell me more about that? Yes. Uh, we have uh, several uh, individuals who come from the skills program. And uh, they have limited abilities, but they, they come with a companion. And they, they enjoy doing everything that they can possibly do. And uh, just like everybody else, they want to help too. And, and they also interact very well with the volunteers who are already here. And, uh, it, it's, and they, they, really, uh, they really enjoy and they bring uh, a lot of uh, laughter. Uh, and they just enjoy being interacting with the other people here. Yes. If you would like to learn how you can get involved volunteering with the Altoona Hub, you can check out my Facebook page for a link to their Facebook page, or you can also look for hubs near you at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com. <laughs>